Hey there, it's Chris from bikereview.com.au and I'm having a really quick look this morning at the Yamaha R3. This is the 2019 edition and while Jeff's doing the full test on this particular machine, I'm just having a really, really quick look over it as I did get to go to the launch recently. Now for 2019, there's been a number of updates to this model. However, they haven't touched the power plant because it really is a beautiful engine. There's very little reason, really in my opinion, to increase the capacity. What you do get is you're getting a massively updated styling package to more closely align with the R1 and the R6. You don't get those really thin line headlights that those models get. However, you are getting a sportier light and they've got quite a good throw of light as well. I rode home in the dark last night. We're finally getting kind of those darker days and it's getting dark really early. It's a really good front headlight setup for riding and for commuting at night. You're also getting a really cool LCD display. It's quite simple, but very, very easy to read and it just works, which is something that I really like about this particular model. Obviously, you're getting quite good wind protection from the standard screen and what they've actually done on this model is update the ergonomics. Now, the bars, it's, it's probably a bit of a hard comparison to make, but the bars are actually 22 millimeters lower, which combines with that tank actually being redesigned the tank is also lower and it basically still feels nice and narrow between the legs and makes it very easy to lock in but the top of the tank is lower and they've just totally redesigned that so that the bigger riders can still get in behind that screen and between the bars being a bit lower and the tank revisions it makes it a roomier bike for large riders particularly when they're really riding in kind of that racer crouch which is a really nice feature because these bikes have got to suit such a wide variety of riders. Uh, Yamaha have really put in the effort to make it even nicer ergonomically than previously. There's also been some changes to that top triple. It's a really cool, it's got like cutouts in it to keep the weight down, a little bit R1 inspired, which I think is a nice touch as well. So I think they've done a great job in doing that. Um, it looks, you know, it looks like a proper race bike as well. It doesn't feel like a tiny little learner machine. It feels very much like a proper sized bike, despite being an exceptionally light machine when it comes to riding on it and even rolling it around, which is what you want as a new rider. The big change on this 2019 model is of course the change to the forks. It's now got 37 mil forks and it's got a much sportier fork in it. So it's a stiffer fork. It can take an Olin's cartridge if you were to go racing. And it's a very much updated suspension system. Obviously, that is gonna be sportier, where the old one is gonna be a bit more kind of general performance. And I have to say for the everyday duties, it's still a very nice thing to ride, but it is definitely a sportier machine than it's ever been before. That's joined by a revised rear shock as well, which is the same thing. It's not totally redone like the front forks are, however, it's a much stiffer shock to then give the whole bike that nice sporty feel. So overall, they've really kind of transformed this bike into something even better than ever before. But I mean, at the same time, the old R3 was such an awesome machine. And like I said, that power plant didn't really need changing. So it's understandable why they've kept it. Overall, really, really fun machine. Jeff's gonna be doing a full review shortly, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to sub, hit that notification bell, let us know what you think about the new model, and we'll be back soon.